All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is locate your micro USB port. And on the A6400, it's right there. Now, here's the cable that came with the camera. It's got a micro USB on one side and a regular larger USB on the other side. So you're going to want to plug the micro USB into the micro USB port on your camera. And I'm using the A6400 here. It is the top port on that particular camera. It says USB on the side of the camera. Then you're going to want to take the other end of that cable and plug it right into your computer, assuming you have a regular USB port on your computer. I actually don't. I have USB-C ports because they're Thunderbolt ports um, on my MacBook Pro. So I have to use this little dongle adapter here. And basically, I just plug the USB cable into the little dongle and then I plug the dongle into my laptop but the concept is the same you're basically just plugging it into your computer and at that point all you really got to do is turn the camera on all right so once you have the camera all plugged in you just need to turn it on and when you turn the camera on it's going to automatically pop up these new drives like basically the SD card is going to show up as these external drives it looks like and then in addition to that depending on what software you use on your particular computer the auto import dialogs may just automatically pop up so I'm just going to X this out Lightroom also popped up with the import dialog box so I'm going to exit that out I don't want to import it that way I want to show you guys how to do it manually so again here are the drives so we're just going to double click on the untitled one that's basically the SD card that's inside the camera. And then to get the photos, you're gonna to need to navigate into the DCIM folder and then click on the folder that's within that. In my case, it's called the 100 MSDCF. And here are all the files. So these are all the pictures. So at that point, basically what you can do, you can select all the pictures by selecting, clicking on the first one and then going down to the bottom, holding the shift key down and then clicking the last one. And now all the photos are selected. So what you would need to do is you need to copy these over to your computer. I'm going to go to File, New Finder Window. That's going to bring up a new window for me. And then I'm going to navigate to Pictures. And this is what I recommend you guys do if you're doing this for the first time. Just import them to your Pictures folder on your hard drive or wherever you want to import them. But if you've never done this before, this is a good way to go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder within my Pictures here. So I can just right click and do New Folder here or I can go up to File and I can do New Folder. See that? So there's two different ways to do it. Windows works pretty much the same way. Right-clicking is the easiest. Then just create a new folder inside your pictures and then title it a year or something like that. So in my case, I'll do 2020-test. So now click into that folder and then I would create another folder with whatever date you're actually importing them. So in my case, today's April 19th, so I will do 0419-2020, for example. I would just name the folder that for today's date because that's the date I'm actually importing these files. Then I would just click on all these photos here. You can just click and drag and it'll copy them over. So now I'm copying all these raw files to that folder I just created. And it's that simple. That's how you get your photos off the memory card and onto your computer. All right, so now the photos are done. They're copied. They're all on my computer and you can see them right here. So now they're actually in that 404192020 folder in my pictures. So if I click over here to my pictures, you can see I have the new 2020 test and inside there, here's the new folder and inside there are all the photos. Now to get the video off the memory card, it's pretty much the same process except your videos are located in the private folder and then you click on M4 root and then within there, there's a folder called clip. So click on clip and then in here you will see your video files and in my case they're .mp4, I was recording 4K video and you would then go through and select whatever files you want. You can then hold command down or control if you're using Windows and click multiple files if you want and then you would basically click and drag them over just like I did with pictures. Depending on what you're doing, I usually copy them over to my external drive because the files are large. I don't want them on my solid state drive which is in my laptop. But if you're just trying to get them onto your laptop so you can, you know, start playing with your files, I would recommend putting them in your movies folder and you just go in there, you can create a new folder just like I did. You can do 2020 whatever the case may be, double click that folder, and then you could create another folder. You could name it the date if you want, or you could name it whatever project you're working on, you know, say you're working on food 
a food project or whatever, just name it whatever you want like that. And then you would open that folder and then you can just simply click your files, whatever file you want. I'm just going to click this one file, drag it over. And now I'm copying over the video file. So that is very basic, guys. I'm just trying to re really, you know, make this as simple as possible. I know I'm over explaining for a lot of you that have done this before, but this video is for those that have never done this before. You have no idea how to get the pictures off your camera and the photos off your camera. You know, you're new to computers and everything like that, and, and this is all new for you. So that's who this video is for. I really hope you got something out of this video. And that is pretty much it. So I will catch up with you next time. And if you guys have any questions, um, please just let me know below the video. I will be happy to try and help you out. All right, take care. Have a good one and be safe out there, guys.